Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming channel. Today's subject is on introducing loud sounds to timid dogs when you're working alone. This suggestion was from one of our viewers uh, at I Know You Want to Fly. Thank you so much for the suggestion. So I have a client coming who is very timid. His name is Oliver. He's very old and very scared of dryers. So a really good candidate to show you how to introduce him to a dryer. But once he gets here, all my attention is going to be on him. So I will be filming and showing you a live demonstration of what we're going to be discussing right now. But just know that we're going to go through the steps. And then once Oliver gets here, I'm just going to be focused on him. But you can watch how I do it. Okay, so the key principle after you're towel drying a dog, let's talk small dog first. I'll talk about big dogs in a second, is we're going to be wrapping a dog in a towel, right? So we're carrying them like a baby. The trick is to introduce a sound while you're carrying them securely in your hands. So you've got a small dog. What I do is I start with my stand dryer. Anyone has questions on differences of dryers, we do have an episode out there on uh, professional pet grooming dryers. But this is my hands-free dryer. I set it on a very low setting and I introduce it away from the dog. Okay, so that's step one. I'm not even putting any air, but I'm then going to focus on where I'm going to put the dog for a nice, gentle, warm air. I do have a heat setting on here. And then I move around and I secure the pet on the table. Okay, I'm going to turn this off so you guys can hear me. So now I've secured the dog. Usually if it's a timid dog, I'm going to harness them under one of their arms. Okay. Usually put the towel. I'll either keep it around them if they're very cold, put it under their feet. And that's when I introduce. So I've got this running and I introduce my second sound source, which is my hose dryer. My hose dryer has a long hose. So the actual motor is pretty far away from the subject. So the noise, you want to keep that as far away from the pets uh, that you can. Mine is under a table, so it's pretty far away. So I've got this guy going. Got this guy on my table. I'm still holding him or her, right? I've got my hose for my hose dryer that's easily accessible. I'm not pointing it at the animal yet. Turn on away and then introduce slowly while holding the pet, okay? From the back end of the dog. That's normally better for them than anything on their face or in the front. Now, some notes of caution is when you turn on that hose, sometimes dogs can jump, so be very, very sure to be holding them, especially when working with a little dog on a table. Uh, so you're holding the pet, introduce that hose really softly, but expect them to maybe move around, which may happen when L Oliver gets here, and I'll demonstrate that with you. But this is the point where you have to be really, really diligent on making sure that they are safe. And all right, guys, for our big pups, um, now we usually are going to be hitching them unless they can get on a table. We'll be hitching them to um, the wall hitch and drawing them on the floor, especially if they're timid and large. Uh, we don't want them jumping off a table and hurting themselves. So here's our imaginary dog in here. Okay, standing here, timid. What I like to do sometimes if a dog, a big dog is really timid, is I'll introduce this drying source before I bring the dog in. So this will be going. It's not like it's a new sound coming in. I bring them in, right, and then hitch them up. And then from there, it's pretty much the same thing as we did on the table for our small dogs. We want to direct this gentle air. Again, start around the rear parts. Now, every dog is a little different, but for the most part, they can handle anything going around their back end much easier than their front end or their head or face. And so then I'm going to turn this on, direct it to a place that's a little less stressful, and that's when I can go grab my hose, turn on my hose dryer, and go slowly until the dog becomes comfortable. Well, all right, guys, I'll see you back here in a second as soon as Oliver gets here.
Oh, my God.